just, to just my comment and my presentation is, is even, even shorter. Um, a small country, a very, a very complex country, and I was trying to make this presentation as short as possible and uh, as specific as possible. Okay, um, you just want to slides? Right, there you go. Uh, well, I work with the, I was introduced to the Department for International Trade at the British Embassy in Sarajevo, which is the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, the previous panel discussed more opportunities in, in Serbia. So Bosnia and Herzegovina is just on the west side of Serbia, one of the former uh, countries of former Yugoslavia, uh, with a population of 3.9 million, uh, million um, people. On the political side, the, as a whole region, uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina is on a path uh, to access the European Union. Uh, frankly speaking, it's been on a path the last 15 years, so it's, it's going very slowly um, uh, in terms of um, the political direction, um, uh, and we'll see what, what will happen. Um, yeah, um, uh, the reason, maybe the, the only difference in my presentation is that I will speak more about co. Um, uh, the reason for this is not that it uh, doesn't mean that there is, um, there is no other mineral mining uh, in the country. Obviously, there is, and we have some companies in this room who are very active uh, in, the, uh, in the country in terms of uh, uh, exploiting mineral resources. But um, um, coal, uh, why coal? Because um, there's a very specific example uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, two years ago, the first thermal power plant uh, from a private investment uh, was commissioned in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And that was the first one in the whole of the Western Balkan, in even the wider region. Um, majority, all other plants are being run by, by government companies. Um, this is a first interesting fact. The second interesting fact about coal is that uh, if we look at the energy mix of the country uh, and the energy security, um, uh, coal plays uh, uh, the key role uh, with uh, more than 60% of an annual, um, uh, annual production uh, uh, in the energy mix. However, this year was even more because we had a dry season. The rest was uh, hydro, the 40% was uh, hydro power plants. Uh, um, some estimates say that uh, 2017 will end with more than 70% of uh, the uh, electricity produced in Bosnia and Herzegovina that comes from coal. Another important aspect um, related to coal is that Bosnia and Herzegovina, along with Bulgaria, is the only net exporter of electricity uh, in the region. Um, so even more important uh, to maintain these uh, uh, production facilities. Uh, obviously, there are some challenges uh, around uh, the environment, but that's something that I will mention later on. These challenges also present the opportunities. But as I mentioned, 65% uh, is the um, overall coal uh, um, um, part in the energy mix. Bosnia produces around 11 million tons coal a year, um, which is um, an amount that is uh, insufficient at the moment to feed in all the plants, uh, including the new. Uh, the newly planned generation facilities uh, through, throughout the country. Um, um, very important to mention is the um, political commitment that happened for the first time um, after the country's independence in uh, the early 90s after the Balkan conflict, uh, is that the government was clear about a need to uh, restructure and modernize the whole uh, coal mining uh, industry. Uh, this is particularly uh, uh, important uh, because for the first time we've seen one of the one of the, the major uh, power utilities owned by the government, uh, whose representatives are sitting here with us today, um, that came out with a clear and concise investment and action plan uh, that, that should be completed by uh, the end of next year. Um, this includes investments worth one, around 160 million pounds, uh, primarily in equipment uh, uh, and partially in, in, in services. If any of you is interested to uh, get any details about the procurement plans uh, and, uh, uh, and the dynamics, uh, please do get in touch with me and happy to share this information. Um, just a brief uh, um, one slide on, uh, on the structure of the, of the coal mines in Bosnia and Herzegovina. We have 15% underground mining uh, and 80% of uh, surface mining. Uh, this, this, this percentage is, is probably going to stay even after the uh, um, uh, investment cycle because the um, there are no plans to close some mines, uh, and, and new mines are not being opened that quickly. So uh, this is likely to stay in the in the short term period. Uh, um. Right. Before I move on to um, to the uh, specific opportunities, there's some obviously some challenges uh, uh, in the country. Um, again, complexity of the system. Uh, I'm decided not to go into this this time because we have three different layers of government. 
uh, operating uh, the major uh, coal mining companies. So if you're looking to do business in one part of the country, uh, you're dealing with one ministry, another part of the country with another ministry and another power utility. So um, this brings uh, uh, high up the importance uh, of having a, um, a local, uh, well-established local partner who, who can help you deal with your, uh, with your business there. When I mention business, I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning both uh, um, uh, investments, uh, investors that are interesting, uh, interested in the sector, but also uh, UK exporters who can, who can provide um, equipment and, and, and services. So um, just going back to my decision uh, and the, um, uh, to my, what I mentioned about the decision of the government to, um, to implement an ambitious modernization plan, uh, basically uh, this, this highlights really specific opportunities for, for the companies uh, in terms of providing all kinds of services and equipment. Um, the, um, the major goal of this plan is to expand the capacities and to modernize the production in order to be able to feed in the uh, to feed the new power plants, at the moment there is a plan uh, and very close to signing deals uh, with Chinese investors to de to develop um, two new power plants. I think around 300 megawatts each, um, which will definitely increase the need uh, for, for for coal. Um, um, another, maybe the largest challenge is the uh, doing business um, with the coal sector in Bosnia, except for the one private company that I mentioned. Um, is the, the complex public procurement uh, system um, which sets out clear and really complex rules <laughs> at the same time uh, um, to uh, both domestic companies but also foreign companies who would like to, uh, to bid for, for tenders for goods and services. Uh, however, um, what we do at DIT locally is we have a strong network of local players and companies uh, that have uh, uh, an established uh, um, portfolio of, uh, of customers and know the public procurement processes and uh, are able to engage very early on when uh, the engineers in the mining companies are sitting and trying to draft the tenders, which means um, uh, dr uh, draw the designs and uh, uh, by using the, the existing knowledge. Um, when I say existing knowledge, um, the, the, the challenge is that most of the mining companies were um, using uh, outdated information about outdated technologies, were not clearly following what was going on in the, in the, in the industry. Uh, however, I'm, uh, this all changed with um, the recent modernization plan where we really have the uh, power companies interested to buy um, as efficient, as modern uh, equipment as possible. So they're really open for all kinds of presentations, suggestions from, uh, from the rest of the world. Uh, and, but also from, from the UK companies. If you'd like to speak to any of them or to me, uh, just let me know afterwards. Uh, uh, scrolling down to uh, the specific opportunities, um, I just mentioned a few. Um, the procurement plans for, um, for this investment cycle, which will end up next year, uh, include the long wall products uh, for coal mines, coal conveyor transportation systems, road headers, shearers, crushers, supporting equipment, spare parts. On the surface side, we have excavators, dump trucks, um, um, and uh, everything else. What, uh, what you can imagine is being used on the, on the open pit coal mine. So uh, we have the clear information about the dynamics of procurement, so we know the, the details of the company, so please do get in touch with us if, if, you, if you want some more information. Um, on the services, mining services, I have to emphasize that this is something uh, new. Um, local companies are not used to uh, to subcontract services uh, to external suppliers. Um, there's many reasons. Uh, one of them is the um, maybe the old socialist uh, um, habit that was mentioned on the panel before, that everything was supposed to be done in-house. So the big mining companies have lots of employees, all sorts of, from geology to engineering to everything, they do lots of things in-house. Uh, obviously, nowadays, it's really difficult to track these um, uh, world trends and, and to be uh, capable to follow them. Uh, if, if, if you don't have external contractors that are specialized in their own areas. So this is something that we are sort of pushing and trying to introduce to, um, to mining companies in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, however, um, it still takes time, so this is something that we're seeing coming up maybe in the next few years, that they will, will be more open for, um, for uh, external specialized services. So that was it. Um, any questions? Please, please, please. At the end. At the end, right. Yes. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you.